hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this cute little reindeer set for my little sister obviously um well if you've been around a while you know it's my little sister so this was her previous set um i was trying a new crystal gel glue and it didn't hold the stones well so it failed and that's that <laughs> um so i did the prep and stuff off camera uh i do apologize um just removing the previous design and etc i filed it down didn't file all the enhancement off um and then i cleansed the nails with acetone um i dusted them with uh alcohol and then cleansed them with acetone and then i'm applying two coats of protein bond i decided i'm gonna try protein bond i haven't tried it in a second not that I have any experience, I've spent many of years using protein bond and still use it regularly for other um, uses. That's kind of repetitive, right? <laughs> I've used it for other uses. <laughs> um, so I use IBD Clear Builder Gel, and I'm doing a fill on her set that she had. Now these, if you recall from a while ago, were the Opera Gel X tips grown out for a while, a long while. Most of it's probably off, literally, but I've only filled it. I never replaced them. Because if you're not familiar, the Opera Gel X system are full cover tips, but they're made of gel. Okay? So I get questions like, oh, they're just plastic. What's the difference in those and just the ones I can buy off Amazon or eBay or something like that? And it's like, yeah, those are plastic. You're not paying $35 a box or whatever it may be for plastic tips. That's not what's happening. It's like a gel nail with a C-curve and an apex and everything. I'm using um this brush. I say it all the time. I got it from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I don't remember. It is a Filbert brush. That's what I know. It's not a special brush. If you want like... If you don't want to go hunting down a brush, Alpha Brushes, which I have a link below, you'll find. They have very good affordable brushes that I do use. Mine are very worn. I don't show them often, but I do use them and I probably need to re-up and get some more. But um, yeah, if you're not trying to go out and about and trial and error, uh, there's gel brushes um, on Alpha Brushes website. So you can see I'm filling in the product up back and I'm just adding the gel just very lightly feather touch to where I think it needs it. Go go ahead and rewind the video and very carefully examine how I apply that product and how I just kind of tease more product where I feel like it needs to go. If you watch that line of light, which you know the line that light that's going on the as I'm moving, you know, it's literally the line of light. It shows you if your surface is smooth. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Pay attention to that when you're applying gel and see how that looks. It doesn't have to be perfect. I always say gel. I think this is an easier product to learn, especially for beginners. It may seem intimidating because it's something you're not used to seeing. We all grew up, you know, I'm generalizing, but, you know, we all grow up going to the, you know, traditional nail salons. And we are used to seeing acrylic, depending on your age. It might be, you know, you might have seen a few silk wraps in your day, but it's usually acrylic. Gel is not something we're used to, especially, specifically, uh, United States is what I'm speaking of. That's where I've lived my whole life. That's where my experience comes from. But I'm not naive enough to think that that's the only experience around the world. I know other countries don't, are not familiar with acrylic. It's the complete opposite. But, you know... Speaking to my ladies in the U.S., most of us are used to acrylic. So anyways, like I guess I tracked with that conversation. So I filled her set. Of course, I cured it. I shaped it into this little just natural, like rounded, squarish shape that I really love when the nails are short. And I'm using um, the Atwood Safety or Smooth Top um, bit. And it's a carbide bit and it's in fine grit and i'm making sure the nail is level you see me using my thumb to rub over the surface i'm making sure there's no lumps and bumps and i'm doing that constantly so many different times and so once i get the nails nice and balanced i kind of took some of that bulk down um just because of the length when they are shorter they don't need to be as 
thick um but you you, you still want to have a balance to that but they'll just look real squatty the shorter they are and the thicker they are they'll look real chunky <laughs> we don't want that and i'm using the carbide um uh, I'm sorry, the diamond bit, the cross cut bit. It's a diamond bit. I'm so sorry. And um, this bit I use in place of a buffer. It further smooths the surface. You can see it buffs it, but not. we're not looking for a smooth buff. We're looking for a nice rough buff. And it, you know, it sounds like the opposite, but we want it to have that texture. So our gel polish will hold on to it. So I'm using Madame Glam, Madame Glam XOXO. And um, this is another Madame Glam color. And it is called Head Over Heels. And you can use code Tabitha when you shop at Madame Glam. Go ahead and click the link below. And you can go to Madame Glam's website. And I'm using Chandelier from Charm, um, from Daily Charm. It's their charm gel. And you can use code Tabitha and the number 10 behind it. And uh, click the link below and go directly to their website. And I do get a little commission from them. But they are great products. You see that I use them often, especially Madame Glam. But I've used Daily Charm items for years i'm genuinely a fan of them and that's why i refer you guys to them so um i'm just painting the nails the, she had a little reference picture um it's just something I, she found somewhere i don't even know i'm so sorry i don't know who did it sometimes it's hard to track pictures down from who originally did them and people tag me all the time and think I'm going to get mad. But I genuinely don't. Let, not unless somebody is literally passing off my work as theirs. And then, again, that doesn't anger me. I just think it's kind of foolish. And I know that you guys are always ready to, like, go off on somebody for, like, being inspired from my work and copying it. That's a whole other conversation. I'm not the artist to get mad because I take inspiration. Art is inspiration and you know just transforming it and everything like that again whole nother conversation um but yeah i'm never angry unless somebody like i said literally takes my work and again anger is probably not the word it's odd <laughs> so um i knew that this nail i was going to put glitter on the bottom but i wanted still that brown glitter as the base so on the second coat i wiped off the bottom just so it doesn't get too bulky on the end i didn't want two coats of regular gel polish and then a glitter, then a top coat, like it seemed like too much. So I kind of wiped down the area at the bottom. And so that XOXO color is very beautiful, but it is sheer. And we wanted a little more opacity. It's the closest thing to the brown tone that she wanted that I had. But I knew it was sheer, so I went ahead and applied three coats of it just so it'd be more opaque. And I'm using that chandelier color is so beautiful. And I did it over that darker brown just because there was a certain tone we were wanting to kind of go for. So that's what I use as the base. You cannot use a base. You can use, you know, a different color. You could use that XOXO kind of tone of nude or, you know, whatever you're feeling. Um, you can do it more opaque, like do, you know, two, three coats of it. So you see me, I'm just really loosely making this line um, just because I know that I was going to put stones or beads across it. Well, originally I was going to put beads across it, but we changed our mind in the future. And I've lately been using the Poochie's Nails Detail Brush. Y'all know I've been using the Wildflowers uh, liner for years and years. But I said it before, I cracked this out. Uh, Poochie had sent it to me some years ago. And in the process of moving, I've discovered new things that I had put up in places. And so I'm like, oh, let me try this out. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I am actually using um, In the Blacks Black to draw these antlers. And I'm just kind of looking at a reference picture, but her nail was way smaller than the reference picture. So I kind of had to modify it to fit. In retrospect, y'all know, y'all guys know I'm always going to tell you how I feel like I messed up about it. I um, wish that I would have added a third kind of branch of antlers to the outside of them like the furthest to the left and the furthest point to the right um just kind of spread them out more instead of just up mostly but that's just kind of an aesthetic thing <laughs> um but that's really my biggest complaint and I wish I really didn't make that piece too thick but this is such fine 
lines and I got it like as perfect as I could to that point we just kind of let it go you know <laughs> so I cured that you know I'm always curing my art when I get it to a perfect place I don't want to lose it I go ahead and cure it so I was adding little dots for eyes I didn't like those eyes so I wiped them off and this is again a very very simple cute um, more of a juvenile type look but you can adult it up you know it's it's you know whatever it's your world whatever you like that makes you happy nobody's judging okay but i think it's very cute and simple so i did that dark brown for the nose as a base i went ahead and cured that gel and then i added the glitter and then i um cured that but i remembered it was supposed to be matte so i had to go ahead and polish over it and i caught that on the other nail that i drew you see that's before i did the glitter and this one's after I did the glitter that I realized it. But I just, it was easy to recover. When I put it in the light, I went ahead and top coated over the glitter part. For this one, I added the glitter after I made it matte. And I still had to add, of course, the top coat on top of the nose. So it didn't really matter that I made that mistake. So um, if it was something that's supposed to be like way more, like it was her whole nail, I might buff it off. Because having a matte coat, top coat and putting shiny over it can work but sometimes it makes it cloudy and you don't want your glitter cloudy especially if it's your main focus but it's just a little nose and it doesn't cloud it to the point that it would make the little nose not sparkle if that makes sense so i'm using rose gold um swarovski crystals and i get them from blue streak crystals dot com and you can use code tabitha and the number five it's just a discount code for you guys um and i am using some rose gold beads and i believe i got them from daily charm a while ago and i'm using the nail supply glamour um crystal gel glue or whatever it is i really like it um i kind of go in between using that it it's a little more runny that's my biggest complaint but it's not so runny it's still on the thicker side of ones that i've experienced so i was really going to do these beads and i realized that these are going to have to be terribly straight to not look sloppy and i just didn't i, I and i didn't like how it looked even when i did get it what i have thought was straight i just didn't like how the beads made it i don't know but I just swoop, I scooped some of them out on the left side, the right side, and in the middle, I added a bigger one. And it just, to me, read as a an overall cuter design as opposed to just the beads all the way across. Do you agree? Tell me if you agree. Like, that's better than straight beads. So we did that. I got them set right. And then I used the um, little LED flashlight that I have. Um, you can get them from amazon i should add them to my amazon shop for you guys to shop but um i got one also from opry years ago so on this nail um there was again an inspiration pick but it wasn't exactly like this i kind of freestyled it a little bit from the inspiration just because again her nail was much shorter so i'm going to do something that's appropriate and i just love to be able to show you guys in my opinion that you know you can do some cute stuff on short nails like it's not just you know my ring finger is a different color and that's how i make my short nails cute like you can add bling and it not be you know you can have a nice i use gaudy in the nicest way possible look and it's still you know be appropriate for short nails like this design it is bling it is beads but i think it's real cute on the short nails do you like it doesn't look too much for the short nails if that makes any sense do you tell me if y'all agree below you know what i'm saying like you can do cute stuff with short nails like some really sophisticated stuff i y'all follow me on instagram and just scroll through my pictures i again humbly like to say that i feel like i've done some really cute nails that have you know crossed the line and being like man maybe that maybe that would be cuter on long nails but this is real still cute on short nails like you didn't know that short nails could do that oh i'm tripping i'm thinking too much of myself i don't know <laughs> but anyways i um sealed um 
the beads and around the stones and I mattified that pointer finger with the bling, the V bling, matted that out. And that is our final look. Of course, we did shiny top coat on everywhere that needed shiny top coat. And that was that. So I really want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and be kind to your neighbor. Wear a mask. It's scary out there, guys. But thank you for watching. Bye.